guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the Turtle Girl. Guess what? Another large YouTuber got pets. And I am talking about none other than the fabulous Liza Koshi. She is a very popular comedian YouTuber and she has about 12 million subscribers. And just recently she got some new pet turtles. And I thought it'd be a good opportunity to just talk about some common beginner mistakes and misconceptions about turtles and just some general advice for those of you who think you want a turtle. First thing, before you even start getting into tanks and what type of turtle and any of that, please realize that turtles are a huge long-term commitment. Most turtles can live 20 to 30 years and if you take really good care of them they can live upwards of 50. It just depends on the type of turtle. But they live a long time so you're taking on this responsibility so just be aware that they live really long. Okay, so if you think that you can go with that long-term commitment then the first thing you need to do is start off right. So the first and biggest piece of advice of successful turtle keeping is just get the largest tank that your budget and your home can accommodate. Because their turtles are just super messy, they can get really big, they poop a lot, and they just like to have room to swim around. So just give them the most that you can and because it'll save you a lot of hassle later on from having to get them bigger tanks. So the general guideline is that you want about 10 gallons per every inch of shell on your turtle. So you just want to start off with the largest tank that you can get. And another thing about tanks is that when you fill them up with water, there's a common misconception that turtles can only swim in shallow water. That's not true at all. The majority of aquatic turtles that you can get as pets are very good swimmers. So give them the maximum space that they can swim around in and fill that tank all the way up. They will swim and as long as you have some decorations in there for them to hold on to, they won't get exhausted, they won't drown, they are very good swimmers. So fill that tank up. You don't only have to fill it halfway up. Next thing is that filtration really is important. So turtles, like I said, are very messy when they eat, they're messy when they go to the bathroom, they're messy and they're doing this all in the water that they live in. So it's important to keep that water clean to keep the turtles healthy and also so that you're not constantly changing water, lugging five gallon buckets of water around. So get a filter, it'll make your life easier. It is not optional. You need a filter for your turtle. And usually because turtles are so messy, you want this filter to be about two to three times the size of what you would usually get if it was just a fish tank. And the next thing is that lighting is really important for turtles mostly in their basking area, so turtles need a spot to get out of the water to get dry. And what we have to do is to mimic what the sun does for the turtles because there are two things that you need to provide. You need to provide heat for them and UVB for them. Now, heat is important because turtles are reptiles, so they're cold-blooded, and their temperature, what that means is that their temperature um, interior, in, in, internally, that their temperature internally is the same as their temperature outside. So in order to keep them active and in order to keep them eating and not being sluggish, they need to have a place that is warm. Same goes for the water, so you also need a water heater. But basking heat is an important thing to just keep them active. And then you need UVB light in order for them to absorb vitamin D3 and basically what that does, vitamin D3 does, is helps them absorb calcium, which is very important to their shell health. So you need both heat and UVB lighting above their basking area and usually you provide this through two different types of bulbs and make sure that for the UVB bulb it explicitly says it produces UVB light. And I just want to say that if you think you want two turtles, two is not always better than one. And this is because turtles, they don't really want friends. They see other turtles as competition for mating and territory and food. So when they see another turtle in their space, they 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 can cause some serious damage. It's not a good situation. And if you do want two turtles, you really need to get a bigger tank so that they can have their own space and just watch them very closely for any signs of aggression. They can cause very serious damage to shells, limbs, head, neck. So usually you don't want to get more than one turtle. They don't really need friends. And frankly, they'll be much happier without it. And if you really want to see something else in that tank because there's just that one turtle, then maybe try a couple of fish, although that's a whole different topic that turtles might eat them. So just keep those things in mind um, if you think you want a turtle. But basically, just get the largest tank you can get, 
get a big filter, get your lighting right, and if you're going to get two turtles, just watch them really carefully, please, so that you don't cause injury to either of those um, two turtles. So I hope this video helped you understand some basic needs of a turtle. And regarding Liza, um, I think there are a couple of things that she could have done better, but again, we're all learning. We all have to be positive and help each other out. I noticed that some of the comments on there were kind of hostile. Also, link to that video of Liza's in the description if you want to see her getting her turtles. But just know that turtles are living, breathing creatures. They are beautiful, and they deserve to not only survive, but to thrive. So if you do these things, then you should be able to have a successful experience keeping turtles. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next Friday. So have a totally awesome day. See you guys later. Bye!